Lesson 2 of Unit 4 addresses watershed analysis using Civil 3D. And essentially what you're doing here is you're working with surfaces to delineate watersheds and to visualize runoff paths. And these are the topics for exercises 1 and 2 of Lesson 2. A couple things to be aware of. First, uh, the hydrologic cycle is the ongoing process of evaporation, precipitation, water infiltration, and runoff. Uh, so this is a, a well-documented cycle. And a watershed is an area that contributes surface water runoff to a particular point of interest. So what we do in exercise one is uh, we first delineate the watersheds. Uh, we create a surface style to display the watersheds. You perform a watershed analysis by modifying the surface properties. And you can visualize these watersheds. So let's have a closer look. Uh, we have a surface here called existing ground and if we look at the surface properties well there's the surface to start with and we could modify the surface properties and under the analysis tab we can run a watershed analysis and you can specify a watershed parameter and make sure that you can specify a minimum average depth and we'll just put in two units uh, and this is so that you don't get all these little mini watersheds but if I click this down arrow we now have all of the watershed areas delineated and these are all boundary segments and if we scroll through you can see there's different categories of watersheds and that's the analysis now in order to display that you need to use a surface style to display the watershed boundaries. So under settings tab if we go to surface and surface styles you can see we don't have one here. Let's right click on surface styles and create a new one and let's under the information tab call this watershed oops, analysis and under the display tab we'll turn off everything except for watersheds and then if you click the watersheds tab you can see all of the parameters that are used to control the display of the watershed so the boundary points the boundary segments and so these are essentially all the colors and if I click OK we now have that style called watershed analysis now we can assign that surface style to the surface so let's grip the surface modify the surface properties and under the information tab we can assign the style called watershed analysis and that will then display and delineate the different watersheds in the drawing area so you can create a table to show the data and then the exercise second exercise you visualize runoff paths and this is essentially you know using a style to show you the direction of slopes but also using the water drop feature to show you uh, the direction of flow. So let's have a quick look at that. We'll just grip the surface, go back to surface properties and assign the contour style. And if you were to grip the surface and click water drop on the contextual ribbon here, we can create a 2D polyline and essentially wherever you pick a location you can see it calculates the direction of flow so it's very easy to see that the direction of flow on this side is running from the south west to the northeast and that concludes the discussion on watershed analysis which is in lesson two in unit four of environmental design for the AutoCAD Civil 30 2010 education curriculum